Saving the Arizona right now. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on, get to the front of the ship. Get to the front of the ship. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are back with the update. So if you missed the first episode, I'm going to flash it in the top right corner. But we covered an update, uh, which includes tsunamis, rogue waves, new ships and tools. And it was fantastic. And I'm ready to jump back in here today. So, I asked you guys last episode, which I'm going to do it again this episode, what do you want to see me do? Like, what sort of things, challenges, anything that you can think of here? And the number one thing that I saw from the last episode was, I should try to repair a ship after using an antimatter bomb on it. Now, if you're new to the series and you don't know what an antimatter bomb does, it is probably one of the most fantastic things I've ever seen. So, hmm, if I was to place one of these down... Well, how could I put this thing even back together? I'm trying to think of what would do the least amount of damage. Uh, you know what? Let's just go here. All right, let's go. Boom. Oh, no. Which, by the way, we're using the Queen Mary the first, I believe. Uh, there's also Queen Mary two in here. Uh, uh, oh, no. Wait. Um, so somebody said repair it from the antimatter bomb. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> Wow, the debris. Wow, that's a lot more debris. Yeah, by the way, it's another part of the update. Uh, a lot of the debris doesn't disappear anymore. Is this even possible? Can I repair a ship from this? <laughs> okay, so there's all the specs. So obviously I gotta go to tools. I don't look forward to doing this one bit. Repair. Yep. Wait. Wait, what? Is that working? Hold on, so... You're joking. Look, it's trying to suck up all the pieces here. Wait. Okay, so maybe this is possible. I don't know. Do we really have to do the antimatter bomb? That seems like it's overkill to try to repair this thing. I almost think we could do this. It's going to take forever. Wait, what am I repairing here? Are these two pieces together? Oh, no, no, no. This is not a thing, is it? Hold on. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, by the time I get this repaired, it's going to hit the bottom of the ocean. All right. You know what? I'm in it to win it here. I'm committing because my viewers wanted to see me try to repair one of these ships, and I'm already tired of doing this. This is not... This is not wise. Wait, could you technically create two ships? Say if you had one in half? Wait. I just got thought of something. Okay, you know what? This is still going to be a thing. I'm going to try to do this, maybe on a smaller scale or something. Wait. Can I adjust this to make it stronger? I wonder if I turn on ultra-violent mode, would it make it rebuild faster? I'm not really sure because this is going to take forever, but I do have an idea here. Can we create two ships? Okay, so my idea and what I'm going to need to do here. So I'll have my move tool ready. What we're going to do, we're going to go... Okay. Right down the middle. Oh, oh, little, little thing attached there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to move this half over here. So, in theory, we can create two ships here. I'm going to move one half over here so they're far enough away. Okay. All right, so technically... Wait, what? Oh! So, you can't do this. I thought maybe we could do two halves, but look what it's doing to the, uh, the half over there. It's actually ripping it apart. What? That's actually crazy. I didn't know that's how that worked. Okay, so... Technically, I could probably repair Let me try to repair the back half of this. I'm going to start with the hole and work on the bottom. And I might have to use the uh, the flood tool to try to drain this uh, before it sinks here. Okay, compartments. Oh, I wonder if I can reseal one of these compartments here. Uh, that looks like maybe a seal would be right in here. Oh, this still is going to take forever. But this is not a bad idea. I just don't know how entertaining this might be. I mean, somebody's probably getting a kick out of this right now. But like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. And uh, also, uh, if you're enjoying the series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. This is going to take me a moment. Uh, I'm going to try it now. Ultra-violent mode. Let's see if this thing repairs faster. Oh! Wait, what? Wait, that does almost opposite. Oh, it does repair a lot. Wait, no, but it also destroys... What is it doing? Stop that! No, 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 no. Okay, so apparently ultra... Yep. Yeah, this is oh, this is for sure a repair, right? Yeah, no, this is great. Yeah, we're totally... 
Okay, so ultra, you know what? Ultraviolet mode does not work while we're t repairing ships. It's trying to do it fast. Wait, is it doing it over here? Hold on, it, it was trying to do it faster. Uh, let's see if we can save this side. Okay, just, we have to drag it slowly. Oh, that's the key. Oh, you know what? I think we can do this, hold on. Repair, repair, repair. I think we're gonna be uh, flooded by then. Hold on, let me try to rebuild a compartment here and see if we can try to seal this bad boy. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. No, see if you screw up just once though, it completely screws up the whole repair job. No! Uh, wait, 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 it's going up. Oh, uh, wait, it just got hit by a wave. Maybe that's why it's going up, I'm not really sure. Okay, this is fine, hold on. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, keep repairing, keep repairing, rebuild the bottom here. Okay, we're gonna have to drain here. Folks, I can't drain it fast enough. Okay, the, the draining's not gonna work. Okay, we need to go back into repair mode. All right, so let's drag back down here. Okay, slowly, slowly, come on, come on. I'm trying to slow it down by doing this. Okay, all right. Uh, where's the front of the ship at? Uh, it's gotta be up here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna have to drag back up here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. Oh, it's speeding up. No, 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 no. Don't speed up. Don't speed up, buddy. Come on. No! Don't destroy yourself! I need that! No! This is the hardest thing I think we've ever attempted. I mean, we rebuilt, like, maybe, what, 10% of the ship back? And we just literally undid all of our work. Okay. We're gonna attempt this on a smaller scale and then we're gonna work our way up. This is a good idea, actually. I really do like this. This makes this a challenge. All right, so we're gonna try this on a little bit smaller scale. I'm not giving up on this yet. I, I really wanna just destroy ships, but you know what? We're gonna try to save one. So what if I just cut this off? That's not important, is it? Okay, I'm gonna let it, okay, here we go. Go away a little bit. No, no, <laughs> I was wanting it to go away. Okay, no, it's fine. All right, slowly. All right, start to, really? Why? Okay, start at the, start at the hole here. Are, are you serious? Okay, no. No, this tool is so, ah. Okay, uh, grab here, okay, there we go. No, slowly drag. Okay, if we can make our way down in the hole, we can make it float. And then I can slowly work on, re why are you doing that? Why are you doing this to me? Why, ship? Why? No! You know what? You deserve to go down. This would make me feel a whole lot better. There we go. There we go. You know what? I'm done with the ship. I'm done with it. There we go. Have fun. Oh, that was really laggy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I'm breaking the computer. All uh, right, no, this is fine. Look at all the debris. Uh, is something about to explode? Hold on, let it do its thing. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn ultra-violent mode off. Uh, we're gonna switch ships, and I want to at least save one ship using the repair tool. All right, so we have a new ship here. This is the USS Arizona. It actually uh, was destroyed in Pearl Harbor. I didn't know we had this. We had a couple warships, or a couple World War II ships, but I don't think we've ever had an American one. So this is what we're gonna try to save one last time. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna turn off ultraviolet mode because it's great, at times when it wants to really work, but I don't think we can get a clean enough repair for it to work right. So, right, let's try this one more time. Here we go. Cut. Okay, switch immediately to repair. Nope, nope. Wait, why does it seem like ultraviolet's still on? Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, I need to work my way down, all right? See, it's that other piece that's trying to suck up against it right now that's actually kind of messing me up. I need to, maybe I need to move that. Okay, let me move that real quick. Okay, you get the heck out of here. Oh, it doesn't want to drag. There it goes. Okay, okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up here. Okay, I need to save. Okay, save it, save it. Look at this, look at this. Come on. Saving the Arizona right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on, get to the front of the ship. Get to the front of the ship. All right, I'm gonna have to try to maybe drain some of this. I need you to hold on with me, come on. I feel like I'm talking to like a, a patient that's dying right now. This is not good. Come on. You know, I'm gonna get you hit by a tsunami if you don't stop. Okay, hold on, can I seal this? Okay, there's no real good compartments here to seal. Where's the front? Okay, here's the front. Uh, there it is right there. Uh, yes, okay. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, I'm about to start to try to drain here. Okay, 
Come on. Come on. Come on. No, even hold and shift. This is not working. This is not working at all. Okay, I can drain that one. Come on. I need drain on ultraviolet, but I don't need the repair on ultraviolet. Okay, you know what? I, I think I can maybe make this work. Okay, keep going. If I can repair the front, I'm gonna turn on ultraviolet mode and I'm gonna drain it. Uh, we can maybe do this. Okay, okay, let's go now. Ultraviolet mode. This is like a. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm trying to save this thing. All right, ultraviolet's on. Come on, drain, drain. It won't drain fast enough. Nope, nope. I accidentally just added some water. Okay, here we go. No, she's going vertical on me. Okay, she's leaking here. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, the hole, we're working on it. It's almost, if I can get it to the next section, ultraviolet's not doing it enough. Ah, maybe I should take it out of the water. Okay, you know what? We have to fix this front. Oh, that is not fixing the front. That is a bomb. Okay. Oh, are you serious? We crashed it again. Okay, we're going back. All right, last attempt here, Arizona. We're really gonna have to cut off just a little bit of this thing. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, you know, one more little piece there. Okay, let that float away, clear that away. Okay, give it a second. Okay, I don't even think she's feel. Oh yeah, she is, okay. Here we go. So, this is very much possible. It's just a matter of, can you get it to repair right? Like here, we would be good, right? Okay, no more bubbles. Uh, yeah, she's sealed. You can definitely do it. There's an art to it, though. Now, as far as rebuilding a ship, I don't think it's possible. Like, I just think that it's going to be at the bottom of the ocean. You're going to grab onto, like, a piece of debris from the antimatter bomb, and it's going to screw up the whole ship. It doesn't really work well in uh, ultra-violent mode. So, repairing it from an antimatter bomb, I think we're going to bust that. I don't think we're going to be able to do that one. Uh, but repairing it from a small slice, yes. I can even repair the little flag here, can't I? Uh, oh, almost there. Up oh, somewhere. I like how it's actually grabbing the uh, the pieces from the ocean. That's pretty cool. Also, I don't know what that noise is. Apparently, it's the noise it makes when you repair a, a flag. Cool. So, we repaired it. Time to hit it with the tsunami. Uh-oh. It's tsunami time. It's like the Arizona didn't have it bad enough. I tried cutting the front of it off. At least we repaired that. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Wait. Can we manipulate the tsunami here? So say if we were to go to Wave Maker. What if I... Can I make it higher? Wait, I can make it... Uh, you can't make it too much higher. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. Can we double tsunami here? Uh, oh, that actually made it... Whoa, that made it a lot bigger. Hold on. But it kind of washes off. So I need to do it about right here. Hold on. Keep dragging. Oh, that is a monster wave now. Look at that. Oh, uh, <laughs> the Arizona's gonna fly. Oh, it looks like storm works when you fly out the top. Wait, is she gonna stick to landing is the question. It did break. The Titanic, uh, last episode, it broke. On, land it, nail it. Yes, look at that. On, don't flood, don't flood. Huh. Okay, so we know that Arizona is capable of some sick tricks because it just flew through the air, landed, and you know what? We actually lost a little bit of the American flag back there. Let's go ahead and repair uh, that real quick. I got to show them uh, stars and stripes off real quick. But you know what? The Arizona, I'm proud of it. It uh, stuck the landing. It hit a tsunami. Well, actually, that was like a mega, mega tsunami, but yeah, it did it. All right, so the next ship we're going to check out is the Edmund Fitzgerald. I've been getting a lot of requests to check this ship out. Uh, this ship went down, I believe, in 1975 in the Great Lakes region. I believe it split in half. Now, don't hold me to that, but I was reading up on it a little bit. Uh, it was found in two pieces. I don't know if it split in half like during the sink, maybe underwater. Uh, but yeah, very cool freight ship. Now, we are going to split it in half, but I had something I want to try with the water. So, we've gone down uh, like this, but what if we were to carry it up? Do we create a massive wave, like something bigger than a tsunami? So, look at that. Okay, that's not bad. I feel like I need to make the depth go down a little bit. This thing's going to split. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, look at its uh, compartments. Oh, this thing is really, really bendy. Oh, this thing is flexible. What the heck? Oh, there we go. We just broke it in half. Well, there you go. There's your sink. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? We need to change this real quick. Oh, man, it's already going down. Yep, no, no, this is fine. Hold on, let's open up our settings real quick. All right, so I need to raise this. This needs to go up quite a bit. There we go. All right, looking good. All right, so we have a... Wow, 
That is much deeper than... Were we always able to go down this deep with the ocean depth? I always thought there was a smaller limit than that. Wow, it is deep. All right, so what I want to do... I'm going to pull the wave down as far as possible and then go up as far as possible. Uh, thus creating the biggest tsunami possible. I said possible a lot too. So we're going to go down, 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 and then up, spike it. That's got to be bigger, right? Hold on, let's go down and spike it. Spike it again. Okay, spike, spike, spike. Come on, we need more spiking. More spiking. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there's the limit for the waves. Okay, so now it's gonna have to go down. Oh, then it's gonna get hit with a uh, just a wall of water here. Uh-oh. Oh, look at the bending. Oh, it can't handle that. Uh-oh, it's gonna go right down, huh? It's gonna pop out. Are we gonna snap it in half? Holy man. Oh, and it's holding on. That looks like a stapler right now. Oh, this is, oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Did it finally snap? No, it is a... Uh, Wow, it actually held on. Wait, what's up with these compartments? So, it seems like this thing is actually fairly waterproof in the, uh, up towards the front. I guess the bridge and all that, and the crew quarters in the back. Well, this is awkward. Is it gonna actually go down? It's actually held together, too. There's a couple pieces down here, which I could cut those on. I think it's actually sinking now. Yeah, okay, so there is water getting in right around this section here. Okay. So, I don't think this thing would naturally split. Say if we were even to damage the middle a little bit, uh, we could put it in waves, or you know, obviously we hit it with, with a uh, huge wave there, but I think this thing's actually fairly tough. Uh, it's just gonna go to the bottom of the ocean here, which is like, probably like, a, looks like a mile down right now. Oh man. All right, so the bridge is filled. It didn't break in half, but you can see, yeah, it's almost completely waterlogged. Uh, the back part's filling up right now. And she is going full speed down to the bottom of the ocean. You know what? I think we're going to watch this. I'm going to go down to the bottom here because I'm curious how much speed this thing's going to have uh, by the time it gets down to the bottom. All right, here we go. Full speed. It's finally going to hit the bottom of the ocean. This is probably going to disintegrate it. Uh, it's moving fairly fast. Oh! Oh, did it finally break it? Oh, and it's going down. How deep is the Great Lakes, like where this thing went down? I'm kind of curious about that. Wait, did it actually just stay up like that? Okay, that's a bit of a thing. It's a, it's a little strange. All right, I can appreciate that though. That looks awesome. Oh man. All right, well, let's, uh, let's grab one more thing here. All right, so I thought I would load up one more ridiculous thing. Uh, last time it was Gravedigger and somehow that one broke my game. So, today we have a choo-choo train. It's the So, whatever that means. Is that actually a, is that an actual brand? I don't know, uh, doesn't matter. All right, you know what, we're gonna kick up the waves on this thing. So, let's go ahead and go to settings, uh, wind and waves. Let's modulate the wind. You know what, we're not worried about that. We really wanna, actually not, could we make this move faster with the wind gust? Hold on, let's not modulate this. All right, so let's go a full hurricane. So that's hurricane force winds right now. Okay, so you can see it's actually adjusting the waves a bit. Now let's just uh, let's adjust all of this to the top. There we go. Oh yeah, that's fine. It's like, oh, wait, wait, what have we done here? Uh, we didn't do this last episode. We actually had waves. This, this is like a, looks like a jump rope of some sorts of, oh no, <laughs> this is not good. Uh, okay, we, I think we broke something here. This isn't, yeah, why is it not sinking? Wait, it is sinking. Yeah, there's water clearly getting up in this and, oh, it's stretching. It's making a horrible noise too. Okay, what happens if you throw a ship into this? Huh, and I, I kind of feel like I should do that instead. Let's turn this to ultraviolent real quick too, because that should always be a thing. All right, ultraviolet mode, three, two, one, activate. I don't know if that made a difference. Maybe it doesn't make a difference in the environment stuff. Okay, destroy radius, bomb blast radius. Uh, simulation quality. You know, let's, uh, turn the strength down a little bit. There we go. Nope. Wait, maybe we should go up? Nope. Something sounds like it's ripping. It just won't blow it up. Oh, never mind. There it goes. Alright, yep, she's filling up with water now. It's gonna go down. I don't understand why there's a train in here. Could you imagine if there was a game like this with trains? 
where you can drive them and like crash them. Like that should be a thing. That would be awesome. I'd pay for that. All right, you know what? Let's uh, grab one more thing here. All right, so I said the last thing was the last thing, but I kind of want to see this aggressiveness with one of the ships here. So, uh, you know what? Let's just grab this SS Titan real quick. Oh, well, that is not gonna lie. Oh, yep, that's what happens when you have those settings. That's great. Yep, it's going down at the bottom of the ocean. Well, we tried. So you guys wanted to see the SS Edmund Fitzgerald. Uh, you wanted to see me try to repair a ship, which, please, has anybody ever actually repaired one from an antimatter bomb? Like, I'm beginning to think that's impossible with everything being flooded. Maybe if it was dry, you could do it. But yeah, with the flood, and yeah, you're not going to be able to do that, I don't think. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Floating Sandbox series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Floating Sandbox. That's absolutely crazy looking.